There is no denying it, ChatGPT has been making the headlines recently. This AI power tool is stirring up the creative world, but can it really help you with logo design? We are about to find out. In this video, we'll put ChatGPT to test and see if it can handle the entire logo design process, from generating a client brief to crafting the final mockups. So are you ready to join me? Let's get started. To make things more interesting, we'll ask ChatGPT to generate a unique client brief for this logo project. This will give us a brand and a target audience to focus on throughout the video. So let's jump straight to ChatGPT and ask it create a fictional client brief for a logo design project. Great, ChatGPT has put together a client brief for a delightful online florist business called Breezy Blooms. This business targets young professionals and anyone who loves flowers. This fictional brand specializes in crafting stunning, fresh flower arrangements for various occasions, with a focus on elegance, simplicity and affordability. Breezy Blooms aims to bring happiness and an uplifting ambience to homes and offices with their flower arrangements. With this brief in hand, we now know that the logo should embody a sense of elegance and simplicity, showcasing flowers as a central element. It needs to be memorable, recognizable and easy to read, with bright, cheerful colors that reflect the natural beauty of flowers. The logo must also be scalable and work well both in print and digital formats, remaining legible in various sizes and on a wide background. Now that we have our client brief, let's use Milanote to organize all this information and kickstart the actual logo design process for Breezy Blooms. Let's start working on the logo. Step 1 is all about further defining the brand and the target audience. With our client brief in mind, we now know that Breezy Blooms is targeting young professionals and anyone who loves flowers. Let's use ChatGPT to see if we can brainstorm more ideas for the target audience and brand identity. For instance, we can ask what are some key characteristics of an online florist like Breezy Blooms targeting young professionals. ChatGPT will hopefully generate a list of ideas helping us to understand the brand and the audience better. So this is the output that we got. These are the key takeaways from the prompt. First, convenience. Busy young professionals value easy ordering and delivery services from an online florist. To emphasize this in our logo, we can aim to design a simple and clean logo that is easy to recognize and understand. Two, personalization. This demographic seeks unique and customizable flower arrangements for gifts or decoration purposes. We can integrate this into our logo design by incorporating a swappable versatile design element, such as a stylized flower that can be easily adapted to different different color schemes or arrangements representing the variety of options available to customers. 3. Affordable pricing. Young professionals appreciate beautiful flowers but may have budget constraints, making affordability important. To communicate this in our logo, we can create a clean, elegant logo that conveys value without appearing too expensive or exclusive. 4. High quality. Freshness and quality of flowers are crucial for the target audience. We can incorporate a blooming flower or a leaf in the design and use vibrant colors to communicate the natural beauty and freshness of the flowers. And five, social media presence. A strong and visual appealing social media presence helps an online florist connect with young professionals. So we have to ensure that the logo is visually striking and easily adaptable to various sizes and formats, making it suitable for sharing on social media platforms. Now let's add those to Milanote as well. Later we can see how we can translate them into our logo design process. Moving on to step 2, it's time for research and inspiration. Let's look at existing logos, competitors and design trends for some ideas. Maybe ChatGPT can also help us with this. Let's ask ChatGPT what are some popular logo design trends in the florist industry in 2023? 
So ChatGPT has provided us with an extensive list of design trends, but it's crucial to determine which ones are actually relevant for our project. This is where your expertise as a designer comes into play. It is up to you to leverage your experience and your knowledge to identify the most suitable ideas for the brand you're working on. In our case, what's truly aligned with the initial design brief and the target audience are the following points. First, minimalism. A simplistic, clean design with a limited color palette will effectively convey Breezy Bloom's essence of elegance and simplicity while being easily recognizable and appealing to young professionals. Two, hand-drawn elements and abstract floral shapes. They can communicate the brand's focus on personalization. Those can be incorporated either in the logo or in the brand pattern that could be used on print materials such as wrapping paper, for example. Organic shapes can communicate a sense of natural growth and harmony, resonating with the brand's focus on fresh, high-quality flowers and the target audience appreciation for natural beauty and freshness of the flowers. And lastly, sustainable and eco-friendly themes can speak to our target audience and can be incorporated in the packaging and print design materials of the brand. Let's add all those points to our design board as well. As you can see, a significant part of the logo design process involves in-depth research and truly understanding the brand. When you master this crucial step, you greatly increase the chance of your customers and their audience loving the new logo. Now, based on all of those ideas, let's find some inspiration for our mood board using Pinterest, Behance and Tribble. And let's insert those to our Milanote mood board. Step 3 is where the magic happens. It's all about sketching and concept development. So grab a pen and paper or your tablet and let's start sketching out some initial concepts for the logo design of Breezy Blooms. Let's see if ChatGPT can also help us generate ideas. For example, we can ask what are some unique logo design concepts for an online florist shop like Breezy Blooms that's focusing on elegance, simplicity, affordability, customization and flowers as the central element. Alright, ChatGPT has given us some ideas but many of them seem a bit too generic and won't necessarily make Breezy Blooms truly stand out. From our earlier research and mood board, we've determined that we want to focus on eye catching typography, a contrasting color palette and incorporate a flower in a more intriguing and unconventional manner. So let's ask ChatGPT again and see if we can generate some more captivating ideas. So there are some interesting ideas here like the use of negative space. I like to further explore what ChatGPT has to offer, so let's use our final prompt. Create 10 more unique and original ideas using metaphors and focusing on typography. Now it's time to see which ideas actually resonate with the brand's characteristics and the mood board that we have created. First, what I like is the idea of a minimalist floral icon, but I like to take this one step further and see if we can actually integrate it into the actual Wearmark logo. I also I also think the floral monogram is a good choice as we need our logo to be nicely visible on social media. We like to create some sort of monogram additionally to the wordmark logo. I also like the idea of a blossom lettering but I like to make it subtle and not too heavy on details and elements as we are aiming for simplicity and elegance here. And lastly, I think it will be great to add some custom letter modifications and glyphs which will communicate the idea of personalization even more. Now that we have all of our ideas scattered in Milanote, let's open up Procreate and start experimenting. Let's finalize the design in step 4. We are at the stage where I'm actually happy with some of the concepts we've created, so let's jump straight into Adobe Illustrator and start designing the logo. 
To do that, we first need to find a suitable typeface. Let's see if ChatGPT can generate typography suggestions. For instance, we can ask what are some typography options for this online floral shop logo. Now, ChatGPT basically listed out all of the possible options for choosing a font, so it wasn't really super helpful there. Let's refine our prompt until we have something that sounds more reasonable. So for example, let's ask ChatGPT can you narrow down your suggestions? I'm all about creating custom unique fonts that best correspond to the identity of the brand. So let's start with a nice display font or a serif font and see how we can further customize it. For this project, I chose several typefaces from Adobe Fonts and Pixel Surplus. So let's start playing around. After a while, to me, one of those typefaces clearly stands out and it is this one. So let's delete everything else and start working on the word mark. some italic elements into the word which communicate the breeze, the movement of the flowers and the simplicity of the ordering and customization process. I have also integrated some minimalistic flower icons into the letters and this way emphasizing on the concept of flowers being the main goal without being too generic. Now we want to give it that personal touch so let's add some custom glyphs using the pencil tool. And if you're still wondering how to actually use the pencil tool, I have a whole video covering everything you need to know. So simply click here to watch it. Let's also create a floral monogram as suggested by ChatGPT so we have a suitable version that will also stand out as a social media profile picture. Finally, we also need a color palette for our brand. Let's go and ask ChatGPT what color palette should I use for this brand? Now, the suggestions that we get don't really correspond to the initial brief saying that the colors should be bright, cheerful and reflect the natural beauty of flowers. So again, let's refine our prompt and see what we'll get. We have a different outcome, so keep in mind to always mention all requirements that you already have from the brief so you can get better responses. 
process. Again, ChatGPT has made many different color suggestions, but we are the expert designers, so let's find some suitable color palettes using those suggestions and just test them out. Step 5, we'll create some mockups and prepare the logo for presentation. Let's use ChatGPT to generate ideas for logo mockups and presentations. For example, we can ask what are some creative ways to present a logo for online florist business like Breezy Blooms as mockups. ChatGPT gave us many suggestions, so let's see how some of those work in action. And that's it. As you can see, ChatGPT can massively speed up your research and brainstorming process. But at the end of the day, it's up to you, the designer, to know what actually works for a certain brand, what is suitable and what will make your concept truly unique. That said, we are yet to see the power of AI when it comes to design. So instead of fearing all those new technologies, let's see how they can actually help us. Before we wrap up, I have a special treat for you today. I've put together a list of five five ChatGPT prompts that will help you streamline your logo design process. To get your hands on this freebie, simply click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to check them out. I hope you found this video on ChatGPT for logo design helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out any future videos. If you're looking for more free design resources, be sure to check my website at albena.design and go to the resources page. You will find a link in the description box below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.